So this is a tamarind, a tamarind tree. And look this giant African snail has found itself so high. Probably I would say that is around five feet high on this branch of the tamarind tree. When I was growing up, we did not have giant African snails. How comes we have giant African snails everywhere now? Eating up your flower, eating up your crops, messing up your stuff. How did these things get here? Now, a lot of times these things come here, sometimes through shipping and uh, other means. But a lot of times, these species that are not endemic to a place and are destructive, a lot of times these things come here is because of our negligence and because some people do not hear, they are stubborn. You see, what happened is we have a system where we try to tell people do not come to the countries with plants, with life plants and animals and things like that. But the people will find a way to hide plants in their suitcases, in their different um, luggages and different things. They will hide it because they believe somehow they're doing themselves a service and they believe somehow that the laws are against them. But these are the things that we get when these people come, very indisciplined, selfish people who bring plant material and animals from other countries, not realizing that some of those things have eggs on them. There are protocols in place to, for the importation of these things. And most times what happens is, in the country of origin, they make sure that those things are properly disinfected or um, vaccinated or whatever before they give a certificate for it to be shipped. And so then it will come to the hands of trained people in the country of importation and then they will release it to the, um, to the, to the customer or the, the passenger. But what happens is a lot of times these people just believe that they can break the law and once people will not find out, they think it is okay. They feel somehow somebody is trying to put them at a disadvantage when you're asking them not to bring plant material from other countries into your country. And this is how, one of the ways in which we get things like these giant African snails, and these things cost millions of dollars in order to control them. You know the amount of times farmers buy slug bits? They buy slug bit and different chemicals to try to control the population of these giant African snails, whereas these things could have been prevented. These things could have been prevented because people refuse to hear and people refuse to understand. And again, one of the reasons why people are not listening is because sometimes the Ministry of Agriculture of some countries are just very unreasonable. And I can tell you in particular, St. Lucia. St. Lucia has a very draconian um, set of procedures in terms of bringing in foreign um, animals and plants from other countries. I used to work on projects where sometimes, you know, certain people wanted to bring in um, certain um, breeds of goats or even rabbits from Puerto Rico and different places. And the Ministry of Agriculture would make it so difficult and impossible for those people. There was actually a guy who was working in the Ministry of Agriculture and he told me that um, and I think he was retiring or he had retired that the a certain guy they would never approve he wanted to get some rabbits from I think Puerto Rico and he said that they would never approve it for him because one of the main guys in the Ministry of Agriculture has rabbits and it all it's almost like the guy is protecting the market share for himself there are many projects that I have worked on where people were supposed to get information 
from the Ministry of Agriculture as to how to bring in goats and other animals from Puerto Rico. And in some cases, and even Matnik, there was a guy who wanted to bring um, goats from Matnik and he had his own vessel to transport the goats, but they made that thing impossible. So again, the Ministry of Agriculture in St. Lucia, because of the way it makes life impossible for these people to bring in certain things to the country, it makes people bring things from the um, black market or illegally. So the Ministry of Agriculture, who is supposed to be preventing that from happening, is actually contributing to those things happening. And say, for example, if one of them here, they step, some of them will come on radio and they will come and defend and even come and just say things that make no sense. And they would sometimes even lie to try to cover up the fact that they are not working on behalf of the people. But I'm telling you, man, if you see... In terms of the importation of stuff, we need to sometimes bring in live animals from overseas. Hey, and that thing, by the way, when it came to the bringing of these horses from other places for the horse race, there was no problem. Eh? It was, it, I bet you that that thing was well facilitated to bring in these horses from overseas for the race at Bosejo. But if you are a local trying to bring those things here, they make life impossible for you. But again, locals, for the good of the agricultural sector, for the good of the food security of the people, do not bring in planting materials and animals without inspection in the country because it's causing a lot of problems and it, causing, it will cause the country a lot of money. But yeah, right now I'm just trying to pick up, to pick some um, tamarind and look, this giant African snail, I'm just seeing it here. And so... We need to be careful.